He says, oh baby girl, you know we're gonna be legends I'm the king and you're the queen and we'll, we'll stumble through heaven If there's a light at the end, it's just the sun in your eyes I know you wanna go to heaven, but you're human tonight And I've been sitting at the bottom of a swimming pool for a while now Drowning my thoughts out with the sound So to start this vampire makeup look like any other makeup look, you're going to want to prime your face. So I'm using my Too Faced Primed and Peachy Primer. And then you're going to want to go in with a BB cream or foundation that's much lighter than your skin tone. So right now, because I'm still tan, I went in with my foundation that I use when I'm super pale. And this is what's going to enhance that whole vampire look. And then after I am done using my BB cream, I'm going in with my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind in the shade Fair Claire. This is also super pale and white, but this is what's going to help us enhance that whole pale look. And it's going to brighten our under eyes and our T-zone. So after we're done blending this all out, we're going to be moving into contour. And for this look, I decided to use a gray eyeshadow to contour with. So I'm using my Naked 2 palette in the shade Pistol because I want us to look nice and dead. So I'm going in with my MAC 224 brush. And don't be afraid to bring this down a little bit to make it look so dramatic. Because remember, vampires, they're dead, they're sucked in, and that's what we want to create here. And if you feel like you need to blend it out a little bit better, you could always go in with a small contour brush like I did. And now it's time for us to bake. So I'm using my Locket Setting Powder by Kat Von D. And I'm going to be putting this underneath my eyes. And I'm going to be sharpening up that contour with this. And we just want to make it seem like our skin is very smooth. Because believe it or not, if you've ever watched vampire movies, their skin looks amazing. I don't know why. For people that have been dead for so many years, they have pretty good skin. Now I'm just priming my eyes and getting ready for the eye look. So taking Peach Tart from my Just Peachy Mattes Too Faced palette, I'm going into the crease with my MAC 224 brush, and we're just going to be blending this all out. We really want it to look nice and dark. Next, going in with this dark purple shade from my Carly by Belle Deluxe Edition palette, I'm going to be doing the same thing just to deepen up that crease. Now just going back into the Just Peachy Mattes palettes, I'm taking the shade Just Ripe and I'm going to be putting that onto my lid so we create this really dark, blown out, smoky plum eye look. And then after that's completed, we're going to be going in with Peach Tart and Just Ripe. We're mixing those two together and going underneath our lower lash line. I use my MAC 224 brush. But this just really makes it even that more dramatic. And then going in with Peach Meringue, which is such a pretty white shade, I'm just going to be highlighting the brow bone. And after that's done, I'm going to be going in with liner. So I'm using my Maybelline New York Unstoppable Black Eyeliner and lining the waterline. look I decided to add some fake lashes so I'm using the NYX Wicked Lashes and I applied them off camera and I'm just blending them in with some mascara and then taking Forever Lit from my Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit I'm going to be applying that onto my cheeks it's a nice pretty white shade because vampires need some glow too I mean look at Edward Cullen and to really bring out the vampiness of this look, I'm going in with my Revlon Black Cherry Lipstick and applying this onto our lips and because the fake blood from Party City completely skeeves me out for some reason, I'm going in with my L'Oreal Ravishing Red Lipstick. I'm adding some blood around our mouth. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it makes us look extremely bloodthirsty. And because I wanted to go the extra mile and make us look like we're a freshly bitten vampire, I decided to add some bite marks. So to do this, I added some of that Black Cherry Lipstick. And then to create some bruising, I mix both Peach Tart and Just Ripe from the Just Peachy palette together. And then to make it look like it's a fresh bite, I added some of that red lipstick. Alright guys, this is the finished vampire look. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Please don't forget to thumbs up this video and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And if you decide to replicate this look, make sure you tag me on Instagram. I love you guys so much and I will see you in the next one.